ad avere l'onore di aprire al traffico il nuovo traforo. Progress has always been made by companies that have succeeded in overcoming obstacles, with structures that bring people and cultures together over distances, and by constantly tackling new challenges and overcoming boundaries. After more than 40 years, the Gotthard Tunnel now has to undergo a comprehensive renovation to ensure that the tunnel facilities comply with the latest safety standards. In order not to interrupt the traffic that runs along the important north-south axis, there is only one solution, a second tunnel located parallel to the existing one. As soon as it is completed, the old tunnel can be temporarily closed and renovated. Following the conclusion of the work, the two tunnels will each accommodate traffic heading in one direction, with both having a hard shoulder. The work will thus see the implementation of the mandate from the 2016 referendum. Expertise that meets the highest standards is required for this once-in-a-century construction project, which is as essential as it is complex. Marti has taken on great responsibility with this mandate, but at the same time it now also has the opportunity to master a truly difficult challenge. For a project of this magnitude, a construction site has had to be set up that is several kilometers long and divided into various logistics areas. Some 12 kilometers of conveyor belts have been installed in order to serve the construction site's different sections. These include loading areas for the transport of aggregates over long distances through the Gershenen and Airola portals, as well as gravel processing sites for the entire concrete production process, and facilities for the production of concrete in Airolo. The concrete is required for excavation support purposes, as well as for the tunnel lining and prefabrication of the tubbing segments and service ducts. The utilization of 7.4 million tons of excavated material also has to be optimally organized. 3.5 million tons of excavated material are to be transported by rail to Fluelen for the renaturation of the shallow water zone at Lake Uri with the aim of promoting biodiversity. 2.2 million tons will be used as part of the San Gotardo program for the motorway canopy and terrain modeling in Airolo. The remaining 1.5 million tons are to be reused as concrete aggregates. This means that only a very small portion of the material will be separated out and disposed of in landfill sites. The most difficult part, however, will be making progress within the mountain. The second tunnel will have to be dug through four different geological layers and the extensive Guspis fault zone. This represents a particularly soft rock barrier that will need to be cut through and secured. Only then will it be possible to use a tunnel boring machine of 12.4 meters in diameter. In preparation, an access tunnel of almost 5 kilometers in length has already been drilled using a single shield TBM with a diameter of 7.4 meters. One obstacle at a time. The teams doggedly work their way through the Gotthard Massif. Nothing is left to chance, with all solutions meticulously planned and implemented. The safety of the teams is the number one priority. The time has finally come. The main tunnel boring machine, one of the biggest in Europe, is ready and the work on the second road tunnel can go ahead.